to Lincoln now and a fight to protect animals. Hearings today on a series of bills to crack down on puppy mills in Nebraska. New at 6, KETV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki tells us supporters fear the bills don't go far enough. Images of neglect and cruelty uncovered at a Malcolm breeding operation. Animal lovers lined up in front of the Lancaster County Courthouse in 2013. Frustrated, the Department of Agriculture didn't seize more of the animals sooner. That operator eventually pled no contest and was shut down. The judge in the case referred to the location as an animal Auschwitz. That's why the Nebraska Humane Society and several other animal rights groups support LB 377. It would give the department more tools and speed up the process when they have probable cause of abuse or neglect. A judge would have seven days after seizure to determine if the animal should be forfeited, return to the operator with monitored conditions, or require the owner to post a bond to pay for the care of the animals during trial, something that would have made a difference in the Malcolm case. I'm confident these animals or those animals would have been seized if this law was in place. Another proposal, LB 360, would allow Department of Agriculture inspectors to seize animals if there was a significant threat of danger. Some animal rights groups say that language is too vague. But let's not give them a big loophole they can point to as an excuse for continuing to not do their job. The ag director came under fire on puppy mill enforcement during his confirmation hearing. He and the governor vowed to do more. He asked lawmakers to give them more authority to do surprise inspections with the help of local law agencies. Without the element of surprise, the delayed inspection may not be representative of the facility in its normal condition. Pet breeders say no one wants to see abuse, but some of the regulations could put good operators out of business. Sadly, the one in so many hurt all of us, and that's the ones I'd like to see cleaned up. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7. Two other proposals would increase the licensing fees for dog and cat breeders to help pay for increased inspection costs. The legislature's ag committee says it will try to work with all different interest groups to hammer out a bill to present to the full legislature.